Welcome to today's video. As you can see, I'm standing inside a very unique lodge. This is where we slept last night, and we are at Scooter's Haven in Florida. This one's called Sin City, the area. This is cabin number three, but they're just little cabins with like tarp stretched over them. And there's just everywhere these little cabins throughout this whole property. Got my girl Charlie with me today. This place is definitely pet friendly. And of course, my boy Scott. Scott, I like your t-shirt selection today. Yeah, I like that, huh? He earned it. If y'all don't know Scott, help me with the Great American Convoy in great ways. He set up the donation booth every single stop. He went the entire trip with me in a car, setting up and tearing down at all the dealerships. You did phenomenal, dude. Thank you so much for that. Big part in raising over 600 grand for veterans, right there. Oh yeah. Come on, Charlie. So this is Scooter Haven, you guys. And I'm excited to share it with you because this is a unique place. This is kind of like my K River campground. This is a motorcycle destination. In fact, if you want to see a quick review on it, you can go to MotorcycleDestinations.com. You can find destinations like this all over the country. And you can even add your favorite destinations to the site. It's actually user uh, generated listings. So you got a cool destination, you can go there and do it. The property itself has RV spots along with the cabins and it doesn't look like they care the age of your rv or the condition you can pull it down here and set up and like i said it's extremely motorcycle friendly there's motorcycles everywhere out here they've got showers now their shower house is pretty rustic but it works i got my shower in here this morning you just come in it's just a concrete slab no drain it all drains off the back and then just a simple knob there the temperature it is is the temperature you get lots of beautiful palm trees and those old mossy trees what kind of trees are those scott with the moss on them do you know i don't know and then these are their other cabins which are probably a little bit nicer inside it's like an aluminum siding looks like wood oh these are nice heck yeah just one bed in these ones here's another one this one's harley themed very cool that's pretty good in there, Charlie. Oh, we'll start at I think about $50 and go up from there as far as pricing is concerned. You're gonna find all kinds of uh, collector memorabilia things sitting around. Look at this old gator, red velvet studded shoe, an old airboat. And in here, this is kind of where the, the action starts. So they got a stage up here for bands, an old school bus they can serve out of built into the deck, a kitchen over here for breakfast and lots of seating throughout. Now there's porta potties all over this place, but they do also have real bathrooms that you can use as well. Check out this door handle. It's an actual revolver, welded up, put in for the door handle, that's pretty cool. Then inside there's a pool table, a bunch of uh, decor, bras and vests, fireplace for the winter. There's a little sawed off. Check that out. That's cool. It is a full bar, limited selection, and it's by donation only, so bring your cash. I think there are about just over 70 acres total here, and it's 70 acres of just random unique things to check out and look at. This is true iconic Americana biker destination. Old Indian rusting away next to the tree. I love this old soft too even comes with an old graveyard. Look at this, an old Suzuki. This is some really meaningful stuff, y'all. There's a couple things they do here that's really unique and rare. This is actual 9-11 memorial, and it has actual steel from the World Trade Center. Fireman's jacket and helmet from a fireman who passed away who actually was at the site, and an old I-beam. I don't know if you guys can see it down in there real well. But there's an I-beam in there. That are, normally they have flags up top, but they said they've been getting some storms, so they took those down. Over here we've got a ship dedicated to memory of brothers and sisters who we've lost. And they actually weld, every year they weld the names of everybody on the side of the ship. And there's a motorcycle buried underground with a pipe coming up from the gas tank where they can put their ashes down into the gas tank of the motorcycle. Truly unique way to honor somebody. When you love motorcycles, it gets in your soul. And even after death, real bikers live on in the community. And it's actually a stage, so they actually play music on it, sit in the yard out here over the ship of memories. That is really cool. Now you'll notice the driveway is dirt, and there's four-wheelers and other things running through here as well, but it's pretty level, it's pretty solid. I think it's super doable for any skill level motorcyclist. All right, Jimmy from Scooter Haven is gonna give us a ride on this Kubota. And for 
Okay, y'all, look at this tree here. It fell over, landed on that tree, and then grew into it. Let's see if I can zoom in there so you can see it. That is pretty rad. I've never seen anything like that before. Those trails would be pretty cool, like if you had like an adventure bike, you could go back there and do some practicing. Be a good spot, or your four-wheeler, or side-by-side. -side. Even an old, authentic jail. Ooh. Look at that. How'd you like to be locked up in that thing? Oh my god, that's heavy steel too. And you're in. You're stuck. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you like to sleep in that? I'm up, I'm up for a, a, a toilet. I think you got a chair there with a few holes in it. I truly did enjoy my time here at Scooter Haven. Definitely a biker destination with some unique grit.